Hello, this is Sanjay Sane from Sane's Academy. When it comes to understanding the classification evaluation matrix of machine learning, I have often seen that for understanding accuracy score or misclassification score, people make, make no mistake. They don't get confused. I have noticed that people get confused between recall and precision. So in the coming videos, I'm going to explain in the first video, I'm going to explain what is recall and in the next video, I'm going to explain what is precision and afterwards F1 score. So now let's consider a case in which we are having a test set of some 12 observations with zeros as some negative class and one as some positive class. Well, now we can form a confusion matrix for this particular finding. We have in one column the y test, which are the original values, which are the actual values. In the another column we are having predicted values so say suppose a model is there and we have predicted that model has predicted some values zeros and ones so first one was correct second one was correct now fourth fifth seventh tenth and twelfth were wrong well let us first of all fill up the confusion matrix for this so zero and zero seems that at five places we see zeros predicted correctly hence I write five here now for filling up the place over here zero and one so number of observations which were actually zero but predicted as one we see two observations over here hence I write two here now about this particular place where actually the value is 1 but was predicted at 0. So we see three such cases over here and about the last one in which the predicted was 1 and also the expected also was 1. So it was 1, 2 over here. So hence this, this fills up our classification confusion matrix as it is called now as you see the total number of zeros in the y test means actual zeros in y test they are one two three four five six seven and as you see the total is seven we can write here total is five for here because actual number of ones are 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And predicted number of zeros as you see are 8 and predicted number of ones are as you see 4. In all, we have 12 such observations. Very easy it is to form accuracy score as you know that these are some of the these are the things which we really desire to be bigger and these are the things which we don't desire to be bigger hence our accuracy score accuracy score can be you know 5 plus 2 5 plus 2 divided by 12 and our misclassification error rate can be 1 minus this or i can calculate it in other way around at as it is 3 plus 2 by 12. So many a times no problem with this while we understand it but about recall what is recall let us see that. Recall is calculated separately for every category. We have over here two categories namely 0 and 1. So for 0 recall is calculated separately and for one it can be calculated separately for zero so how many are 
basically the actual zeros in the test set seems that there are seven zeros in the test set among the seven zeros in the test set our predictive model was able to estimate correctly zeros namely one two three four and five so among seven among seven five zeros were our model correctly was able to predict so the recall for zero can be five upon seven similar story can be there with one so over here as far as the ones in the test set are concerned seems that we have five ones one two three four and five among these five ones we see that at two places at two places the model was able to predict ones correctly hence our recall for one can be two upon five or maybe point four recall for zero is often called as specificity specificity when we talk in terms of zero as a negative class and one as positive class then recall for zero is termed as specificity or it is also called as true negative rate true negative rate and recall for one when we talk in terms of one as positive and zero as negative is termed as sensitivity or often called as true positive rate we have got options for recall score to calculate in scikit-learn library so here are some of the options from scikit-learn we see over here that the function confusion underscore matrix has been imported from sklearn dot matrix also we see accuracy score recall score and one interesting function called confusion matrix display we will talk about that also so to begin with whatever was my data related to y test and y prediction i just manually entered here and then applied the function of confusion matrix with first argument specified as y test and second argument specified as y pred and hence i am having the confusion matrix calculated and displayed and as you see that it is the same confusion matrix but you know you don't have by default the totals calculated we don't require in fact those things because already there are functions for ready-made functions for calculating recall as well as precision and all other metrics this is another function called confusion matrix display now what i am doing is i am creating one array over here of confusion matrix and i am going to pass that array of confusion matrix to the confusion matrix display function and here is going to be my heat map of confusion matrix the heat map shows that you see the larger values are having a yellow background and lower values are having dark background also you can see that there is a function of accuracy score and the recall score which we had calculated manually over here 5 upon 7 basically that 5 upon 7 happens to be 0 0.7142 and hence if you have the recall score y test y pred the two the two columns and post label is equal to 0 if you want to calculate it for 0 then apply zero over here and you will get the value for zero and the value for one is two by five it is which is 0 0.4 and hence this value 
Thanks for watching my video. If you like this video, then don't forget to click the like button and also do subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you.